Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Let's continue our lesson in lecture 3 of 9. The last one is for piecewise function. We can sketch the piecewise function by using this step. First, find points for each function in the given interval. And then sketch the curve that passes through point using the given interval. Piecewise function, it means that a few function okay, is combined to form a new function. Let's look for the example. Example 6, sketch the graph. Fx equals to, okay, we have two function negative x square for x less than 0 and x plus 5 for x greater than equals to 0. Determine the domain and range. So you can recall back all the graph that we already learned to sketch. So for this example, we will combine. Use the same step as previous example. First, let's look for function fx equals to negative x square. So it is the quadratic function. Because x square, the power is 2 and it have a maximum point. Still remember how to find the maximum point? Use the formula. So if you use the formula, you will get the maximum point is at 0, 0. Because the interval given is for x less than 0, so it means that our graph will be only on the left side of x. The second one, we look at the second function, x plus 5. This one is a linear function because x is to the power of 1. Because the interval is greater than or equal to 0, so we have to substitute the point in the given interval. First, let's substitute x equals to 0, then your y equals to 0 plus 5 equals to 5. To draw the linear function, we have to find at least two points. Use another point, let's say I want to take x equals to 2. Okay, any value that greater than or equals to 0. When x equals to 2, so y equals to 2 plus 5 equals to 7. Okay, we have two points, 0, 5 and 2, 7. Let's sketch the graph. Okay, the first graph is quadratic function with maximum point at 0, 0. But we only want the graph on the left side for x less than 0. So this is actually the graph that we want. So at x equals to 0, we draw an empty circle. Empty circle because this function for x less than 0. x less than 0, the circle will be empty circle. Okay, proceed for the next one. The point is 0, 5 and 2, 7. Join the points. You get straight line and for x greater than or equals to 0, the circle is dense circle, okay, or black circle. For precise function, we have to draw the circle. That separate Okay, different interval. And for each graph, okay, make sure you don't forget to label. The domain is from negative infinity to infinity. The quadratic function, we get our value from negative infinity to zero. And for linear, we get the value from zero to infinity. Zero is included in our domain because because 0 is included in second interval x greater than or equals to 0 for range range is the value of y so it starts from negative infinity okay to 0 for quadratic the first range 
then the second graph is start from 5 to infinity 5 is close bracket because it's a black circle or dense circle x equals to 0 is open bracket okay because the circle is empty circle Example 7, sketch the graph of fx equals to the first one to x minus 4 for x greater than negative 4 and less than equals to negative 1. The second one is 3 minus 4x for x from negative 1 to 1. And the last one is set x for x greater than equals to 1. Determine the domain and range. Let's look for the first function, fx is equals to 2x minus 4 for x greater than negative 4 and less than equals to 1. For this interval, we have two values of x, that is negative 4 and negative 1. Okay, let's substitute these two values into the function. So when x equals to negative 4, y is equals to 2 times negative 4 minus 4, so we will get negative 12. Then we substitute x equals to negative 1. We will get y equals to 2 times negative 1 minus 4 equals to negative 6. So this is the two points we get from the first function. Negative 4, negative 12 and negative 1, negative 6. For the second function, fx equals to 3 minus 4x for x from negative 1 to 1. This one also linear function. So we substitute x equals to negative 1 and 1. When x equals to negative 1, your y is 3 minus 4 times negative 1. You will get 7. Then when x equals to 1, y will be equals to negative 1. This is the two points, negative 1, 7 and 1, negative 1. For the third function, fx is equals to set x. For x greater than equals to 1. This is set function. So first we want to find the domain. How we can find the domain? We take the element inside set. It is always greater than or equals to 0. Okay, the value of x. But remember, our interval for this function is always greater than or equals to 1. So we substitute the value of 1 into the function. So when x equals to 1, your y will be equals to set 1. So the point is 1, 1. Let's sketch the graph. For fx equals to 2x minus 4. The point is negative 4, negative 12 and negative 1, negative 6. Okay, look at the circle. The circle at negative 4, negative 12 is empty circle because, okay, look for the question, because the symbol is x greater than negative 4, no equal sign. And for the second point, negative 1, negative 6, it is an empty circle because the symbol is less than equal. Okay, we have equal sign. Join the points and label okay fx equals 2 to x minus 4 let's proceed for the second graph we plot the point negative 1 7 and 1 negative 1 for this graph both are black or dense circle because at the interval given, both have equal sign. So this is the graph for fx equals to 3 minus 4x.
and for the last one for fx equals to set x it must start at 1 ok 1 1 so you can sketch the graph it is to the right because x greater than equals to 1 for set x now what is the domain and range the domain is negative 4 to infinity the domain the value of x so it start from negative 4 the smallest value so until negative 1 okay it continue until infinity so all value from negative 4 to infinity are included in the graph why the domain have open bracket okay because the circle at negative 4 is empty circle okay now let's look for the range for the range is from it start from negative 12 the smallest value of the smallest value of y okay start from negative 12 it stop at negative 6 negative 6 is close bracket and at negative 12 is open bracket okay then our y is start again from negative 1 to infinity okay at this part from negative 6 to negative 1 it has no graph so when it is no graph there is no range for this function so that's all for sketching the graph we will see you again in next lecture